Hello, Sam here, and welcome to Say La, Time to Pause. Taking time out of our day, in the midst of our lives, to pause, catch our breath, draw near to God, and refresh our spirits. Today I'm going to be bringing you some thoughts on our planet. And if you've been on any of our social media channels, you'll have seen my question about Earth Day last Friday. I was asking for your stories on how or if Earth Day or anything else has inspired you to do something different to look after our planet. And if you miss this, don't fret. There's still time to contact us with your stories. So make sure you find us on Facebook or YouTube by searching for Sailor Time to Pause or on Instagram by searching plexus.salvationarmy. And as always, the links will be in the description below this episode for you to find us more easily. Thank you so much to all of you who have contacted us already. It's been great to be able to share with you. And here are some of the things we've heard from you. We've heard a few churches are gaining awards in an eco-church project, which rewards churches for caring for God's creation and the things that they do. We've also heard that some people are swapping their luxurious or maybe just cheaper toilet paper for loo roll that is saving the planet. For example, the Cheeky Panda which is a great name, who are a brand who are helping stop deforestation by using renewable alternatives such as bamboo, protecting the world's forest and animal habitats. They also use less plastic in their packaging, creating less waste to pollute our land and seas. Other planet-saving loo rolls are also available, but we'll discuss that more on Friday's So What episode. And then the last thing I wanted to mention today was about Sidmouth Repair Café. This is an initiative to encourage people to fix or upcycle things that are old and broken, rather than just throwing them away to go to landfill and buying new. This is even better than recycling, plus it's also cheaper and free. All you have to do is bring along your item that's in need of a repair, might be clothes, furniture, electrical appliance, a bicycle, crockery, a toy or anything else. And there'll be volunteers and tools there to help you fix them and even show you how to do it yourself. It sounds good to me. And if you don't want to travel all the way down south to Sidmouth, luckily there are repair cafes planted all over the globe. If you head to repaircafe.org, there's a great map and search feature to help you find your local and when it's open. So if you've got anything else you'd like to share with us or found any of these things useful, We'd love to hear your stories, realisations, practices or anything you do with combating climate change in mind to help save our planet. For when I stop and breathe in your presence I find that you are the answer You're all I need And even when I don't understand I know Caring for the world and caring for creation is something very close to my heart, which, if you're a regular listener, you may have guessed by the amount I've talked about it. I always try to make sure that in my life choices, I always make the best one that will help affect climate change for the better. I mean, I know I don't always manage it. I try, but I don't always manage it. The right choices aren't always the easiest, and probably not the cheapest either. Well, maybe apart from the ones that I always seem to forget like turning the lights off when you leave a room to save energy and not running the tap whilst brushing your teeth to save water and the energy used to clean it and send it to my tap only to go back down the drain again. See what I mean? It's not always easy. In fact, sometimes it may seem impossible. Does that mean we shouldn't try? I know what the Bible says about impossible, but it can still make me anxious and worried, which the Bible also has advice on. I know deep down, even though it's hard, we must at least try to do the right thing. A wise person said to me recently, it's important for those of us who have the ability to make sacrifices to do so, because I know some people don't have the luxury to do the same. 
we can sacrifice stuff like buying coffee or treating ourselves in order to make more conscious choices. So maybe if we can afford to spend more on loo roll to make small changes to the world's balance, maybe we should do so. Why not, in this song that's about to play, spend some time in contemplation, asking the Lord to show you and inspire you to make some changes in your life for the good of the world. Let me leave you with a quick prayer. Lord, I'm sorry where I've made mistakes and not always made the right choices in looking after this world that you gave us. Help me to make those hard choices and sacrifices in order to fulfill your plan and protect the earth for future generations. You put us here to make a difference. You are doing new things. May they now spring up. You are making way in the wilderness and streams in the wastelands. Work through me, Lord. When my mind is like a battlefield And my heart is overcome by fear And hope seems like a ship that's lost at sea My enemy's on every side And I'm tempted to run and hide Your gentle whisper reaches out to me you